Hey everyone, Mandy and Mike here. Hi. <laughs> Get really good at these intros, babe. <laughs> Real good. Real good. So, a lot of people have actually asked us, what is the difference between sail panels and windows on a modified? Now, I said to Mike, I was like, well, there's got to be a difference because at shows where you can run either small block or big block sail panels or windows, it's the small blocks that always have the sail panels and the big blocks are the ones with the windows. So obviously the sail panels must have some sort of advantage. Would you like to uh, fill us in? Sail panels give you this big sideboard when you're sliding into the corner to grab the air and hold the car from sliding up the track. So um, you can attack the corner with more speed and the car will still stick. Okay. So at any event where you can run sail panels, if you show up without them, it's usually a disadvantage. Um, the only problem is, is they also kind of make the car uh, tight or understeer, so it's hard to turn with them. So you got to kind of adjust your setup to that um, if you're used to running the windows. Yep. But the guys that are used to running the sail panels all the time seem to get pretty good on them and um, don't really have to do much. Um, but how come, the lighting is getting terrible right now, how come, like, you don't see a small block going with windows? What's the difference between the two? Can you rephrase the question? <laughs> okay. Um, how do I want to rephrase that? As I said, a uh, small block versus big block show how come you don't see the big blocks going with sail panels? Well, okay, so the rule package... I, I, better. I know there's rules, but the why The rule is that? package designs it so, okay, the big block has more horsepower, so they're, they're probably going to be faster. So let's give the small blocks the sail panels to Trend try to make them keep up with the big blocks. And it creates an interesting race because... Um, Probably for the first part of the race when there's bite in the track, the big block's going to have the advantage. And then towards the end, here comes the small block. So the sail panels, the track's slick. The big block uh, is spinning the tires and, and it can't really get their horsepower to the ground. And the small block's got all this aerodynamic advantage to come racing to the front. So it creates some passing. I don't know, it's an interesting idea, um, but it's also kind of weird because you got all different divisions out on the track, uh, kind of like Trans Am or something like that in the road course racing where they have like all the different yeah. cars. Some cars are way faster than others and they're, you know, and I don't know, it's just kind of odd, but... Um, it is weird seeing like both of them on the track together. At you the don't, same You time. don't see that very often. Yeah. Now, in, uh, in another point of view would be not when they're yeah, we're gonna in the same division. You have uh, some tracks like Grandview runs their sportsmen with sail panels, but the modifieds have windows. So I don't know what their theory is on that, but, but in my opinion, it, it seems like it's probably, you know, sportsmen's more of like an entry level division. So they give them the sail panels. So there's, so they have uh, more car control the cars are tighter and less spins and mm -hmm. things like that. But what's and great? Then, Go ahead. Okay, thank she you. She always likes to interrupt. <laughs> but what's great about that is that you can tell, for a fan that's never been in the races before, you can tell from the stands, all right, that's a sportsman and that's modified. Because they look so similar. Having windows and sail panels, like, differentiates each other. Yeah, that's an excellent point because you, you. the fans want to know what they are. And, and, and in the old days, you could tell because the hoods and the doors were shorter so you could see the engines yeah. and, and the fans would look at the cars and be able to tell. Now, uh, they're all covered up so you, with body panels so you can't really see what's under the hood. Um, you know, for instance, the big block or small block, you can't tell, but with the sail panels, 
panel versus the window, you can tell who's got the big block and who's got the small block. Again, if you have sportsmen with sail panels and modifieds with windows, it kind of um, makes the sportsmen look a little faster, you know. And then the, the modifieds, they they have a little more looser attitude, um, you know, creates for more three wide racing and stuff like that. So another good way of explaining this would be that. Uh, also, tracks used to have a lot of run what you're wrong shows. Oh, yeah. So you could see that if someone bolted a sprint car wing on the top of their modified, they obviously are a bunch faster than, you know, than everyone else. Mm -hmm. So if they had some big old sail on the left side of their yeah. car, um, it just adds a lot of speed to the car. So you could, now that's, there's a much smaller difference here, but you could see that's going to explain like the difference between having a big old sail panel versus a smaller window in the back of the car. So I just think sail panels make them look more badass. But they do. That's bad sail panels do look badass. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but for, from a performance standpoint, I think if everybody has less aero, it provides for more exciting racing. All right. So that's our explanation on the difference between sail panels and windows on a modified. So next time when you see us at the races and you happen to see the two, now you'll know. So hopefully you learned something if you did not know this yet. Uh, make sure to like the videos, subscribe to the channel. And uh, click on the little bell thing if you want notifications for the, you know, the next video. <laughs> and then subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching guys.